everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at a unique product from Push today. This is the Push Goggle uh, extension or chin extension. So this piece right here is going to give you a little bit of extra chin length on your mask. Uh, if you felt that it was a little shallow or a little high on your chin and cheeks, this is going to give you a little bit of added protection along the side in front of that mask. It comes in a couple different colors. I think there's a gray, a black, a red, and a blue. Um, we got the gray one kind of here. I think this is the gray one, right? Or is this black, Ben? I don't know. Okay. It looks gray from where I'm sitting, so I'm going to call it gray. It might be black, just because I can't tell with the bright lights in here. It kind of all makes things look a little weird. But, um, so there might not be a gray one. There might just be black, red, and green. I don't know. Or black, red, and blue. I'm going with gray, though. <laughs> it looks gray from right here. Um, all right, so to put this on, we do need to remove the, the, the strapping. We're gonna remove the lens. Um, I need a couple of tools. What do I need here? I've got a pick here that I could probably use. I need, I might need a little Allen key, and that's not for like turning anything, but it helps push a section through. These pieces right here, when you go to run this little piece through, um, if you grab a hold of this tab and just pull up, I always feel like it's going to break. So I push it through with something rather than pull it through from the other side and potentially break it off of there. Um, so let's get the other parts out. So uh, disassembly of this is just like before um, where we've taken other masks apart. There's a little gray tab that's inside here. You can see there's a gray tab right there. There's another one right there. You need to pop that gray tab out so that it is free. That will let you slide the, the strap harness part forward and then pop it off of the actual mask. So let me see if I can do this and still let you guys see it. Sliding forward right there. And then taking that off, pops off right there. Same for the other side. You just gotta get your finger up on this little tab section right here and you just gotta pop it off of there. It doesn't feel like it wants to go, but it will just undo. And then slide that forward. I kind of get my finger behind it. And then get that off there. So here's our tab that we were talking about. And then the actual loop right there. This tab folds down and locks into the piece that this tab locks onto in order to keep it from accidentally sliding around and popping off on you. All right, so from here, we can get everything else off of there. Now, to get this part off, it's actually mounted up underneath the foam. So this lower section of foam that runs through here, behind it, is where this locks in and this little tab or this this slot right here is inside or a tab of the foam I'll show you that when I get it off of here it runs through there so let me get this foam out real quick So I'm not gonna run, I'm not gonna pull the goggle strap out of this part right here out of the side of the mask. I'm just pulling it out of the ear tab that's right here. And you can see this is the, the foam is right here and I've pulled the foam off of the frame and that allows me to get underneath it and pull this part out. And inside the frame, I'm going to try to bend this a little bit so you can see it. Right here, you can see this tab on the foam is what locks through this slot right there and holds it in place. So we need to get that off on both sides. So we're going to pop the foam off on this side. And then we can take this off here and at the same time 
pull the strap out through the earpiece. And the earpiece is just rubber, so you kind of just have to bend it and move it so that it can come off of there. And then it comes to this point. Now, we've got this lower section tab that runs in there. And this is the same section that is right here. So this one is going to, uh, on, on the piece you removed, it comes in from the top and then pokes through to the bottom. On this one, it's going to come through the bottom and latch going up instead of going down like this one does. So when you stick this through, you could grab the tab and then pull it up. And like I was saying earlier, I always feel like I'm going to break this when I do that. So I'm going to use something to push it through the bottom and uh, hopefully not break it. So there's our earpieces off. We've got that off of there. We've got our foam on the inside, which is still not attached properly, which is okay. We're going to reattach it when we put this back on. And then we'll go from there. So I, I always start with the, with the, the bridge. Well, if it was a lens, we'd be talking about the bridge, but we're talking about the chin. So the very front of the chin. So the way this is going to work, it's going to go underneath. We're going to go from the inside out. And we're going to run um, the, see how I can explain this. So you've got these slots that are right here. We're going to run this from the back through the slot from the back and then fold it around and run it through the slot from the front. So we're going to like lap it over. So we're going to come through here. I don't remember which one I ran it through. I think I ran it through the first one. So the very bottom slot, we're going to try that one first. So bottom slot, we're going to push it through. Get that all the way through there. Like that. And then you're going to see it just kind of sticking out there, which is for now OK. Make sure it's in the middle. All right, so we've got it coming through, and you've got these two pieces just kind of flapping around right here. Now, on the next rung up, so the first one we went through was this bottom slot. Now we're going to work with the second slot up. We're going to push it back through the second slot so it kind of wraps around, and then we're going to hook it behind on the inside. And this is where it's like a little thing you can stick in there can be handy. All right, then we're going to do the bottom or the the bottom one to the side, other side. There we go. And get that in there. All right, now when we look inside here, we should see that both tabs have come all the way through and are flared out against the grilling on the inside to keep this from pulling back through and popping out the front. So in the bottom, or if coming from the back side, through the bottom vent on the back, wrap it around and through the next one up, back through on the outside, just like that. And this should be in line with the bottom. It shouldn't be spaced out or underneath and jammed up. If you're running it from one to the other or from the bottom one to the next one up, it should be good. Okay, so now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do this tab. So this little tab right here, don't need that plastic piece on there. So this little finger that you see right here, we're gonna run this finger up through the hole that we pulled the other one out of. And like I said, I don't recommend grabbing onto this and then trying to pull it through like that. It just feels like it's gonna break. So I'm gonna take something blunt like this. And I wouldn't use anything sharp or pointy because you don't wanna ruin it. You don't wanna damage this in any way. And I'm just gonna help, I'm gonna help it through without damaging it, without putting a hole in it, and I'm just kind of moving it around, putting the pieces through to the point where I can get that and pull it through. And 
It might take a little bit of work, which is okay. I almost got it right there. I just need to get that little bottom section through there. And it's up high enough. I'm just going to grab that now. And I'm just pulling to make sure that it is all the way through. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Luckily, this is kind of hinged, so you can get it out of the way. Put that through the bottom. Like that. And then help it through. Just a little help. Just tap it in. I feel like Bob Ross right now. Just gonna let it do what it wants to do. All right, there we go. So now we've got that in. We've got our middle ones in, our side ones in. Now we can work on the rest of the goggle. So again, we need to run the back of the foam piece right here. So this tab on the back of the foam, the lower section of the foam, needs to go through this rectangular slot. And then the ear strap, or the, not the ear strap, the, uh, the head strap needs to pass through this goggle right here. Or this ear. Strap through the ear. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to run the strap through the earpiece. That's why it's just going to kind of help keep it up and out of the way. Then I'm going to try to show you this. I'm going to feed that square, that rectangle, through that part inside there, right down there. And then I'm going to, well, making sure that it doesn't pop off, I'm going to feed the, um, the tab that holds the foam in place. So this little tab right here needs to slot in. And you can't really get it in by pushing it. So the way I do this is I've got my fingers right here on the back side of the foam. And it's holding the tab that goes through the chin extension in place. I'm squeezing it together so that it doesn't separate itself. And then I'm going to bend the tab for the foam. I'm going to bend it over so that it can slot into the hole that it goes into. So I'm just going to bend it over. I slotted it in right there, and then I can just set it down and push it back together. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to pull my foam out. I'm going to run my strap through the earpiece. going to line up my rectangular slot and slot in the foam into the extension. And then I'm holding it underneath here so that it can't separate. I'm going to bend the tab around, put it in, and push it back into place. All right, now from here, once we're installed, we can kind of just make sure that the ear pieces line up. They kind of do fit together. I can show you that. This is the new one that we just put in. There is a groove where the original ear piece right here, it kind of just lays flush against it and, and they kind of just marry up with each other and, and look nice. So that's what we're going for on this one, just to kind of put them in their right spot. And this one's already there. It should, it'll kind of just naturally want to put itself there. And then, we hook our black tab back on, pull it back to lock it in place. And then we're going to flip over the gray locking tab and push and lock it into place just like that. So again, we're going to do the other side. We're going to pull the black piece up. We're going to snap it into place and then slide it back because to, to release it in the first place, you have, oops, I popped it off of there. You push it forward. So we're going to slide it back. If I can get a good hold on it. There it goes. And then flip our gray tab over and snap it into place. 
And there we go. That is how you add the chin extension onto a push mask. Now check the website for available colors as far as what there is available on the chin extension. It does take a little bit of work to get this on there, but comes out looking real nice. Gives you that extra length that you're looking for on the chins and on the cheek. Get on the website, order yours now, get it through ansgear.com.